Good morning, I'm stopped at a stop sign so don't worry, I'm not driving. It's almost 11.30 and I'm heading to a summer reading study group the day before school starts. Might be a little uh, late, but better late than ever they say. So hopefully that'll help for the test on, on the first days of school. It can't hurt. I'm just glad it's all over because it was, it was kind of a stress summer to get it all done, but I did it. And I don't want to stay at the stop sign too long because it didn't want to come. So I'm going to head there. We're going to study stuff. And hopefully it helps. Just got out of the study group, if you want to call that. Me and one of the guys showed up, but it was super, super helpful. I really appreciate uh, him organizing it and really helping me. Wish more people could have came, but I didn't, so. It is what it is. Good way to spend the last day of summer, I think. For the next one, like, few hours, I'm gonna be doing absolutely nothing. Unless I think of something or something comes up or maybe I see a movie or something random, I'm not doing anything for the rest of the day. If that happens, I will do a I talk about stuff uh, segment to fill up the vlog. Because yesterday's vlog was three minutes long. We, we can't have that. We gotta have at least like five minute long vlogs. So yeah, I'll talk about stuff to elongate the vlog. But hopefully I do end up doing something because if you, It'd be a little sad to not do anything on the last day of summer, you know? This is what I think. But, yeah, for now, nothing. If something happens, I'll see you again. If nothing happens, I'll see you again to talk to you. So, either way, I'll see you again soon. I'm hungry. If I didn't uh, do anything else for us today, I would talk to you. So I'm not doing anything else for the rest of the day, so I'm gonna talk to you. Today, I think I'm gonna talk about school, since school is starting tomorrow, and more specifically, high school. People who have not been in high school yet have no idea what it's like. There's so many things on TV and movies that portray high school as an exaggeration of what it is. It's, there, there's no, uh, one super popular person that reigns supreme. There aren't distinct groups of of kids that that clump and are cliques. There are variations of that, but not as exaggerated as they are portrayed in film and TV. So I'm gonna talk about the truth of high school and other opinions they have about high school. So high school freshman year is both the easiest and the hardest year of high school. It's the easiest academically, but the hardest socially. Obviously, the, 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 the idea is that your freshman year, your lowest classman, you're fresh into the, the ocean, uh, everyone's looking down on you, and you have four years left of high school. At, at our school, uh, at Pepper Alley's, this, this, everyone yells at the freshman four more years, just to tease them. But yet, it's the easiest, exactly, because you have the easiest classes, no pressure for college yet, it's years away, and completely opposite of senior year, which is what I'm going into and what I'll be dealing with. So freshman year isn't that bad. You get tons of new friends, and the, the school has it easy, so freshman year is great. If you're going freshman year, you have no worries, you'll be fine. And I think every year progression has some significance, because when you get into freshman year, you're in high school for the first time. When you become a sophomore, you're no longer a freshman. When you become a junior, you're no longer an underclassman. And when you become a senior, you're a senior. So that's the biggest of all. So I think they're all pretty important. Sophomore year is a little bit harder and a little bit easier socially because you you've had friends for a year, you've, you know the school like, like the back of your hand now, and you're ready. You're prepared, you know it's coming. Sophomore year is not that bad. 
Junior year, I've been told and I agree, is probably the hardest year of high school. Now, I haven't had senior year, but from my experience, I think junior will have been the hardest. You have the hardest classes. You might be getting into leadership positions like student leadership or clubs or anything. So that's adding time. You want to start wrapping up community service for college and, and things for college. And um, a lot of things just pile up. You'll, you'll probably be taking hard classes with tons of homework. So junior is known to be the hardest. Everyone survives it. So if you're going to junior year, don't worry about that. Trust me. If, if I can get through it, you can get through it. And senior year, I don't know. Um, it looks great from what I've seen my friends be seniors. And it's the first time instead of you saying goodbye to one class, you're saying goodbye to all your friends below you. Which I think is a feeling you have to experience. You can't, you can't um, guess what that feels like. So I'll see what it feels like. So senior I can't say anything about, but I'll find out soon. And my biggest view about high school, a, a big thing people that are older and graduate high school say is that high school is not your life. Right now, I, I think a lot of people in high school, including me, feel like if you mess up in high school, you're done. Like you might as well quit because it determines everything. And it somewhat does. You want to get good grades, get into a good school, good college, good job one day. But if you get a bad grade on a test, you're not going to die. You're not going to like fail at life automatically. Because it's just high school. It's literally four years of your life. Most people graduate at 18. That's a little over a fifth of your life. So you have tons of time to do whatever you want with your life. This isn't the main part. It's only the beginning. And... Sometimes I, for, I, I forget that and I get super stressed about stuff in school, tests, homework, and I feel like if I mess it up, I'm screwed. And it's just not the truth. So if you ever feel that way, remember, it's just the start. You have the rest of your life to do whatever you want with it. And overall, don't freak out about high school. If you're in it, not in it, about to be in it, not in it anymore, just relax. And that's how I want to finish today. Uh, I'm going to end it here. It's risky because it's really early. It's actually only 3.30. This might be the earliest I've ever ended a vlog. But I'm really sure I'm not doing anything else. I might pick up dinner, which I've done 50 times in this vlog. So there's no point in keeping the vlog open just to show that. I hope that was enough. I hope that helped. And hope you maybe enjoyed it. I don't know why you enjoy that. It. It's getting kind of boring, but I hope it helped if you are one of the people that could uh, gain help from it. I also, I talked long enough for it to be a good um, amount of vlog to keep your faces entertained for a while. And uh, tomorrow, first day of school. I don't think I've said this yet, but I'm genuinely worried about school because when I started vlogging, it was in the last few weeks of school. There was much less homework, less tests. It was just the big exams. So I had much more free time. And then summer, it was summer. I had plenty of time to vlog. But uh, I'm worried with the limited amount of time I'll have with school, more homework, college applications, and marching man that I want to have time to vlog. And I don't know if I'll be able to continue vlogging, which scares me because I love it so much. I don't want it to end soon at all. But uh, I need to graduate first. Hopefully, I can do this for a long, long time continuously. But we won't know until we find out. But until then, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep having great days doing it. I hope I keep entertaining your faces doing it for a long time. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow for the first day of school.